everybody, it's Clayton with Acreage Development Solutions, or ADS. Uh, we're on site today in sunny Rocky View doing some repair work on a septic tank. We've got the vacuum truck here with our steam trailer. We're going to do some vacuum work inside of a tank, uh, wash the tank out, enter the tank and do some repair work. Alright, so we're out here on site. It's mid-October, mid to late October, sometime 2019. And we're just cleaning up from being down inside the tank. We got a call from a customer that was having problems with his tank. We come out, we had a look at it, we realized that there were some corrosion issues inside the tank. It's a pretty nice manicured yard, so we didn't want to bring the equipment in here and dig it up, and uh, we'd have to move a deck, we'd have to move some concrete, we have to remove some trees and tear up a bunch of lawn. We didn't want to do that. So what we decided to try this time is uh, to do a tank entry. So we brought the vacuum truck in. We went down inside the tank after it was all cleaned out with all the confined entry equipment. We pressure washed the inside of the tank. And right now what we're doing is we've got an LB white heater on it and it's drying everything out so that we can apply a two step epoxy that's gonna go on the inside. And what that's gonna do is slow down the progression of the corrosion in the concrete at least that's what we're hoping, and, uh, and hopefully prolong the life of the tank. How many more years we're gonna get out of the tank from uh, the way it would have been? That's a little bit of a long shot question. We're probably gonna get a few years out of it. Uh, in this situation, the corrosion in the tank was pretty intense. We mentioned that to the customer. We made it very clear that maybe this isn't the best place to experiment with this stuff, but he said it's okay, he still wanted to try it. Well, that's great for us because we'll be back every year to do the maintenance uh, to vacuum the tank out and we'll be able to see. We might even do a couple of tank entries and we'll be able to see what the tank is like um, and how well the product worked. So I mentioned this is a little bit of an experiment and it is. It's not that big of an experiment because we've talked to several people from the National Concrete Association and some manufacturers and the provider of the product that were the two-part epoxy that we're going to be putting on the inside of the tank. And this isn't guesswork, it just hasn't been done in this region very often and we couldn't call somebody to say, hey, have you done this before that could give us definitive results. So we're here finishing up our uh, tank resealing with our two-part epoxy and sealant. Uh, we've uh, did the first coat, which is a nice clear coat, gets a nice seal and allows the, uh, the sealant to actually stick to the concrete nicely. It's uh, gone on pretty decently. You really have to kind of work it into some of the rough spots, but I'm pretty happy with the outcome. So now that we're all sealed up here, we're going to leave the heat on for a while in here, let the cure right up, and then we'll be back in a few days to make sure that it is sealed nicely and is ready for use. Yeah.